a stockman. I am what I am, yeah. I don't want to be anybody else. I'm just a grumpy old fella and I enjoy being like that. The kids seem to enjoy it. Gregory Farm. Kel was a very good mentor and knows a lot about cattle and horses. You'll go lock, split the other two and a half. An apprentice guides a cow. She's called her. Take your time to do it. Make sure you get it right. On horseback, Lachlan watches the cow trot into a yard. Right, I'll go again. I've seen a need for the training of the young ones. There is a certain amount of discipline that goes with it. Uh, you've got to carry yourself, you've got to look after your pony, you've got to be presentable. This is no different to an apprenticeship in a shop in town. We've been so lucky that nearly all of our apprentices have succeeded. And it's just wonderful to see those kids enjoying the bush and enjoying their ponies. I don't know the exact number, but it's around about 50. And they're still coming. They're still coming. Lachlan, apprentice. I've known Kelvin ever since I was being little and started doing cattle work. He taught my dad and taught him how to ride. And my brother came up here a bit earlier than what I did because he's a bit older. I've just come along and started riding horses and mustering cattle up here and yeah, helping Kelvin out. It makes Mari and I pretty proud to see a kid saddle up one of our ponies and go out and get a ribbon. You don't have to be a blue ribbon, but just get a ribbon. Because they've competed, they've done the best that they could. Murray Gregory, wife. Once the junior rodeos decide that they're going to start, you don't see much of him. He's gone to do this, he's gone to do that. Text, Kelvin Gregory, 78. Kelvin watches Lachlan guide a cow around a marker. I was reared as a fisherman and a boatman on the coast, but I loved cattle and the land. We still need horses in Australia. It's just an integral part of living on the land. Kelvin rides with his apprentices. Everybody's got dirt on their hands. I try not to give bad advice, uh, because it other, it, sometimes it gets people into trouble, but I've had a lot of fun giving people some advice. Last 18 months have been pretty tough. We had the drought, we had the fires, we had the floods, and then along comes COVID. But uh, life will go on and the birds will sing again, the sun will come up tomorrow and uh, we'll go again. We've lived through a golden era and to be able to give the likes of these kids a chance to live through part of that era, it just makes you feel so good. Credits, Tree Change Films. The filmmakers would like to acknowledge the gathang speaking people on whose land this was filmed. Fearless Films are brought to you by Ferros Care and Screenworks. Watch Season 3 now at ferroscare.com.au slash fearlessfilms3.